are some plants which people might heard about them, but some don't know the use of them. They might read about them, but they have never tried them. One of these plants is Moringa orifero, also known as Mlonge Longe in Swahili. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the use of Moringa in improving production performance and health status of your livestock. everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Frida and I'm reporting here from Frida homestead in Morogoro countryside Moringa is known as one of the most useful mat purpose plant it has been included in human diet for ages this video will only focus on the use of Moringa as animal feed the use of Moringa as animal feed has attracted interest owing to its rich nutrients and low anti-nutritional content. Extensive literature on the analysis of nutrient composition showed that Moringa leaf contain greater amount of protein, minerals, vitamin, and other secondary metabolites. On a dry matter basis, the crude protein content of Moringa leaf ranges from 23 to 30%. Conventionally, amino acid as a nutrient occupy the dominant position in the nutritional index of feed stuff. The total content of amino acid in feed and whether amino acid composition meet a feeding target can directly affect the feeding effect. So Moringa leaf, given its amino acid content, can be used as the main amino acid supplement for animal feed in combination with other conventional forage. The total content of crude fiber of Moringa leaf is as low as 6% compared with soya bean meal, which is considered as a standard feed stuff. Their fiber content are almost equivalent. In general, a low content of crude fiber, it indicates good palatability for animals. Nowadays, Plant-derived antioxidant is widely used as a feed additive in animal husbandry. Animal consuming plant-based feed supplements with antioxidant show a strong antioxidant ability. Moringa leaves have abundant vitamins, flavonoids, phenol, carotenoid, and it has been used as a feed additive in animal diet to improve meat quality. Another striking advantage of Moringa leaf is its high mineral content, which is significantly higher than that of soya bean meal or maize meal. Moringa leaf is rich in mineral elements such as calcium, iron, potassium, phosphorus, and zinc, which are key elements for animal growth and development. So we now know the nutritional value of Moringa. So what are the dietary application of Moringa in animal feeding? So you can use the fresh leaves to feed your livestock such as the rabbit, the goat, the sheep, the cow and the pigs. So if you are feeding your birds such as the chicken, the turkey, the duck and guinea fowl, the best option to use Moringa is to use in a dry form. So what you should do, you take your Moringa leaves and you dry it. Please don't expose in the direct sunlight because it might reduce the 
some of the nutrients so the best option is to put in the shed in that way then you can preserve the nutrients which are heat sensitive so once you have dried your leaves you can grind your leaves into powder and incorporate the powder into other feed that you have so to achieve economically viable and environmental friendly forage production and reduce greenhouse gas emission researchers have extended considerable effort to exploit moringa among many other plants to supply adequate nutrients and alter the feed composition so start using moringa today to improve your livestock production and performance so guys i'm gonna end up here today until next time stay tuned and stay safe bye bye